Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a Q&A today. If you're new here, thank you for checking me out. You'll get to know me in this video. I'm answering about 10 questions on my freshman year of college, things I've learned, uh, my experience, and let's get into it. We're getting very serious. We just put our hair up, and also I like didn't want to put makeup over my pimples because pimples are normal, and I feel like it's really annoying when people pretend that they don't have acne when they do. So I have acne, and if you have acne too, it's fine. We'll have a party and have acne together. What should we start with first? I want it to be like kind of juicy, but like not the juiciest because I'll save that for the end to like keep people watching. This is a good one. How many nights a week do you party? Wow, this is a great question. <laughs> it all goes back to the first weekend of college. No, I'm just kidding. So definitely Fridays I go out. Definitely Saturdays I go out like religiously. I think my the first semester I missed like one because I was really deathly ill. And then the spring semester was like kind of cold in the beginning. So like a few times when I just like was in a funk or like, actually I don't think I was in a funk. It might've been like not feeling good slash like had a workout class in the morning and just didn't really want to deal with it if like nothing was going on. But Friday and Saturday, pretty religiously. And then Thursdays I went to Finn's, which is like this club down the street from my school. And I like that at my school, it's only people really that go to my school, like we're not in a city. So anyone you meet out, like if you're not on the campus, you probably will see them again, which I don't know, I like having that connection. And then Wednesday nights is um, Rent Days, which is like a bar basically on the campus. It's not, but it, you can walk there, it's so close. And I didn't really go there just because four nights in a row back to back is like a lot so it would be like sometimes thursdays and then definitely fridays and saturdays and sometimes a random night this is another good one um honest first impression of the college party scene i was like this is great i love this so i went to a small high school and of course they had parties but they were kind of dumb it was just like people standing around like doing nothing and i was always like um what is the point of this like can i leave like no one danced i mean you already knew everyone at college i'm like okay i'm in a room with a bunch of people i don't know like we're dancing like actually having fun like i love this and even though going out and like partying is like oh bad whatever it's kind of not because every time i go out i meet someone that's like a potential networking connection someone that has a business someone that becomes a friend so it's just like insane like it's fun and it's like benefiting my future like love that at my school there's this thing called around the world where freshmen like knock on actually not just freshmen everyone that's like not a senior knocks on the doors of all the seniors and you like go in their house and it's kind of like trick-or-treating but like college style and like meet them and they're like all dressed up different themes my favorite theme this past year was call her daddy if there's anyone that listens to those podcasts there's call her daddy themed house and it made it on like bar stool and stuff which was pretty cool but you really get to know people and it's not like a, oh, like freshmen are annoying kind of thing. It's like, oh, like freshmen, like we're excited you're at Bryant. Like, I don't know, it was just like a fun um, experience. And it really made me happy that I chose Bryant as my school. And it was just like a really fun party night. The next question is, did I get hate at Bryant for having a YouTube channel or a podcast? And surprisingly, no, I went to a high school and I've talked about this before. Actually, my last podcast episode was like, on not like getting bullied, I wouldn't say that's the correct term because it wasn't like horrible, but I just didn't really fit in. I'd say that's a better way of saying it. So if you want to hear more about that experience, definitely check out my podcast. I'll link it in the description. So we don't have to go over that too much, but um, I definitely was shocked about how well I fit in, how accepting people were and how like no one cared and people actually thought it was cool. It was a very different experience and it's just one of the reasons I love my school. Everyone's so supportive. People are starting businesses, like everyone's being different. No one like wants to be cookie cutter all the same. So actually no one gave me a hard time. People thought it was cool and um, that's like the best thing ever. Like just feeling accepted and appreciated. It's, it's something that is so important and I didn't have for so long. So yeah, I was actually nervous about telling people about it because I'm not super big. So it was kind of, I don't know, 
it's kind of harder to justify it. I feel like if you're not like making thousands of dollars or like if it's your full-time job, it's kind of easier to be like, oh yeah, I vlog, that's my job. But when you're just doing it like because you like it and it's fun and you're, you you want to eventually make it a career, it's a little bit harder to justify. But no one gave me a hard time about it and I am so happy and thankful for that. Okay, one question was my favorite assignment for a class and I honestly, in high school, prioritized school so much more because I saw school as like my ticket to getting to a different place and like something better. But now that I'm at Bryant, there's just so many opportunities and like putting my full attention into my schoolwork is not smart. Like I can get A's and B's and be in clubs and network and do YouTube and start businesses or I could try to get a 4.0. Like it just doesn't make sense anymore to try to do that. But I do like taking notes. I just feel like it's kind of therapeutic or like a reading assignment and highlighting. I don't really like like an essay or like anything like that. So yeah. Okay, this one's from my mom. Thank you, Colleen. It says, how much do you miss your mom while away at Bryant? Mom, I cry about you every night, which is why I have a severe drinking problem. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I don't miss my mom when I'm at school. <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, I'm just like not that type to get homesick and I really hyped myself up before I left for college. I was like, I'm never coming back home. I'm going to love school. Like I didn't even come home for like the long weekends. Like I loved it. Like they had to drag me home. But um, I, I do like miss my mom like talking to her, but like I don't really miss her because I know I'm gonna see her again. So we like talk on the phone a lot. I tell her everything if you're um, in my life, she definitely knows who you are. If you're a boy that I have a crush on, she definitely knows who you are. <laughs> so yeah, me and my mom are pretty much besties and I love her. And thanks mom for commenting on my Insta story. Okay, tips for freshman year. I would say don't go crazy with the partying too much, but definitely have fun. Like make sure to keep it balanced and like don't forget to work out and stuff or else you're just gonna have to scramble like later on in your life to like get back to where you were. So I'd say like two or three nights a week is good and then like just keep your grades decent. Um, you get to really reinvent yourself. I was not very well liked in high school. I've talked about that. Um, also on the last podcast, it's kind of what it was. And so when I went to Bryant, I was kind of like, all right, like I don't really understand why these people don't like me, but this is your chance to like start over. And I was like myself, I mean, just maybe a little bit more cautious like the first two weeks. But um, yeah, people just liked me for who I was, so that's cool. And um, I also think that you shouldn't, this is a good one, this is a good one. You shouldn't jump into a friendship with the first person you meet because you could end up not liking them the more you get to know. Okay, my camera died and I also have severe ADD so I could not sit here for longer than like 20 minutes. But I think we were talking about people that rush into friendships. So kind of ease with caution, make friends with a bunch of different people the first few weeks and then figure out who like you vibe with and then become closer friends with them. Don't get stuck in a friend group that you kind of realize after like a month you don't want to be in because then it's like awkward. And also, I recommend going random with your roommate. I think if you're friends, cool. If not, like no worries. You can make other friends and have like your room be your own space. Thank God I'm BFFs with my roommate though. And we went random. So that's on my tips uh, for freshman year. And obviously I could talk about any of these topics for so long, but I'm trying to like keep things interesting. My favorite thing about Bryant is definitely the people that it attracts, but I've already talked about that before when I was talking about if I got made fun of for having a YouTube channel. So I guess we can talk about um, how the academics. Um, I like that if you major in business, you have to minor in liberal arts and if you or science, and if you major in liberal arts or science, then you have to minor in business. So everyone has a business background, and I like that because I'm a business major, and I want to go to school with people who are very educated in the business field. So even if you know, you're know you a psychology major or environmental science major, you still have to have a minor in business. So I just think it's cool to have everyone kind of on the same head space. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm like the same mindset, I guess. 
So I really like that about this school and it's the only business school that runs that way, which is really cool. Okay, so was college how I thought it would be? Um, college was way better than I thought it would be and I'm so happy that I had that experience. Thank you to everyone who I met at Bryant. You made it so amazing. I didn't know I could be so happy. I remember um, I always have a positive attitude, but there's a difference between consciously telling yourself, okay, we're gonna have a positive day today and just having an amazing day because of your environment. Um, it felt like a vacation every day. Um, I felt excited for every opportunity, every person I met. I didn't want to sleep, like I wanted to stay up as late as possible and get up as early as possible. So it really exceeded my expectations and I really can't wait to go back. Let's talk about workouts. So I really love spin, it's um, soul cycle, any, whatever you want to call it, any of those variations. I used to be a dancer, so going to the beat of the music really helps me stay motivated. And um, I think it's easy when you're working out to kind of get tired and like n just go through the motions. But when you're spinning, you move your feet to the beat of the music. So if you stop, like if you slow down, you're kind of off beat and it just feels funny. So it, the beat really keeps you like going. It's kind of like the beep beep test in gym where you had to like hit the line by the time it beeped, but it's like way more enjoyable. And it's in the dark room and you don't feel judged and there's music and like good energy and it's 45 minutes so it's like you get it over with um but i really don't like to run i don't really like cardio i don't love being out of breath um so i would perform prefer more like muscle based workouts um like toning but they didn't have spin or anything at my school and I didn't have a car so I couldn't really leave campus. There was a couple places off campus that I could have like checked out which I might next year. But I ended up um, not really working out that much the first semester which is fine like whatever. Um, but workouts definitely do make me feel better when I'm in it and after but the initial doing it is painful. I also figured out I like morning workouts. Something about doing it in the morning and like getting a good start to your day is so nice. I feel like when it's later on in the day, it's kind of like, okay, I just ate bad, now I'm gonna work out and like feel better. Like it's not, the mindset's more like reverse. Like I like it to like set up my day instead of like, okay, reverse what we did today. Like, cause you like did some bad things. <laughs> that makes sense, I don't know. Um, cause I'm not the, the healthiest eater, but I feel like if I do work out in the beginning, then I'm like, oh, all right, you just put in like a lot of work. Now we got to keep eating healthy. If that makes sense. So, um, I definitely did walk a lot though. Like my steps on my phone were like 15,000 to 20,000 steps. And now that I'm at my house, it's like one or 2000 if I don't like go for a walk. So I think just that kind of, um, burns calories and stuff, but you are, also eating more and like staying up late and snacking so there's definitely like pros and cons but um the second semester i got more into working out because i came home and i started doing workouts over break just for something to do and then i like realized how much i missed it and i started going to the gym a little bit more but i don't love the gym there's just so many guys there it's stressful intimidating um, I don't like to make up my own workout. I just like don't want to deal with it. And then also when I'm at the gym, I can't really like watch a YouTube video because I don't know, people will hear it or like if it's just in my headphones, I like to listen to my own music. So there's just like a lot of different things going on. But I would like to go to the gym and just walk on like a high incline and like do an assignment on my phone or I have like a few businesses. So like maybe something for one of my businesses while I walk and listen to a podcast. And then there was a few fitness classes, not the best. One of the downsides of my school was probably the workout situation, but I did do, or I did get into Pure Bar for I think a month at like the end of February, February, March-ish. And I really, really liked that. So um, it wasn't too much cardio. It was mo more toning and pulsing little movements but I feel like it made a big difference and I'd go sometimes twice a day and I went with my friends so it was a really fun like way for us to all hang out and we got kind of close through going and like waking up at 5 a.m. together and so I'm definitely going to be excited to have my car on campus but I think 
the workout situation isn't the easiest you just gotta like make it work and also like if you're not like super into the working out thing like it's okay like i go through like motions where i'm like not doing it so you'll figure it out okay do i have a boyfriend no i do not have a boyfriend i've never had a boyfriend it's very sad um in high school just no one really stood out to me like even if someone was super interested in me i just don't think like anyone was super compatible with my interests and then i was excited to go to brian and i went to bryant and i feel like a lot of the guys at bryant had girlfriends and i think maybe that's because they're 70 percent guys so Maybe they kind of knew about the ratio and like wanted to hold on to like their lame high school relationships. I'm not just talking about like a few people, like a majority of the freshman guys had girlfriends. So I don't know what was up with that. A lot of the girls, I guess some of the girls had boyfriends too from like other schools or back home or whatever. But yeah, and then older people I feel like are a little bit intimidating. I like the older thing for like maturity but then also like I don't like the power dynamic being like shifted like I don't want someone to think like they can tell me what to do or boss me around kind of thing if they're older and I feel like that does happen at this age because like if you're two or three years older if you're like 20 and you're 23 that's kind of a big difference like when you're 30 and 33 that's not as big of a difference but right now it kind of feels like a difference so hopefully I get a boyfriend next year. I'd love to have a Bryant husband. If anyone's listening that goes to Bryant that had a crush on me, you should tell me because I might like you. Um, but I don't know, it's, it's definitely a tough scene. I'm like not the type that's like super like putting myself out there and I don't know, it's something I struggle with a little bit more. I'm just, I do want a boyfriend but I'm also like really independent. Like I have all these goals, all these things I wanna do. And I don't want someone that's super clingy. Like if I do get a boyfriend, I want him to be like, okay, cool, like you do your thing, I'll do mine and like we'll hang out sometimes. But like, I don't want his life to be like me. If that makes sense. Like I, I don't want to be like the, the most exciting thing going on. Like I want, cause that's not attractive to me. Like I want someone that has like a bunch of like fun stuff going on. Cause I'll be like attracted to that lifestyle and they'll be attracted to mine. I don't know, like a power couple vibe. So just haven't met the right person, I guess. I do get worried that something's wrong with me. I don't know, I feel kind of bad that like I'm almost 20 and I've never had a boyfriend. But you know what, like I guess it's kind of out of my control and that's the hard thing. Like in order to get a boyfriend, you can't just like buy one or um, I don't know, decide you want one. Like it takes two people and it's hard. So, and now this quarantine is happening. So it's like, you can't really meet anyone anyway. So, I don't know. I don't really see myself meeting someone from my hometown. I feel like I already know everyone and really not any options there. But hopefully when I go back to school, someone will confess their love for me. Someone asked how I am a freshman taking sophomore classes. And that is because in high school I got my associate's degree. So if I wanted to, I could have transferred to a state school or maybe some private schools and have been a junior but i would have been kind of limited in like my major and stuff and i really wanted to get the four years i didn't have the best high school experience i wanted to now that i'm finally in a place where i'm so happy enjoy the four years so yes i'm gonna be paying more but it's time it's experience it's internships connections so i'm not mad about it but i am so ahead that i might have to like double major, well actually I'm already double majoring, I might have to triple major, but for now I'm a entrepreneurship and digital marketing major, which are like fairly easy uh, majors, it's not like, you know, um, like accounting, it's a little bit harder, finance, so I think I should be fine like doing the double major, I don't think it will be that hard, but I just have a lot of flexibility in my classes, like fall I dropped a class, um spring i dropped a class so but like i wasn't worried about it because it, it was just getting like i don't know the teacher situation like i was like i have so many credits i'm just gonna like take and retry this okay and the last question is how do i stay positive um i really like this one thank you uh so i just really have the mentality like life is hard it's not easy and you just have to make the best of it and i like going to bed knowing that i did something today that's gonna make tomorrow better for myself and others and i don't know i just feel like being miserable is not fun i feel like maybe i went through a little bit of a phase in that of that in like middle school like oh i hate everything but i don't hate every everything and there's so much to be excited about and i don't know i feel like it's it's not really 
some I mean obviously I have bad days everyone has bad days but it's not really something that I even think about it's just kind of how I am so I think if you like try to be if you're not a positive person if you just try like consciously for a few months to really like think about the positive things and focus on them then you'll just like start to be positive and it won't feel like um like a like a chore or anything but I definitely want to get like more into it I think that I could be more positive but yeah I think I'm a pretty positive happy person I just genuinely am very passionate about everything I do passionate about life like I'm just excited like I got like hopefully like 80 years on this planet I just want to make the best of it so yeah I hope you learned a little bit more about me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it so that it's pushed to other people because I want more people to find my channel. Um, my friend Ariel said this the other day on her channel. I really want there to be like a community of like support, entrepreneurs, girl bosses, like just cool people. So if you want to be a part of that, like let's do it. Like subscribe to my channel, DM me on Instagram, whatever um, you're doing. Maybe we could like... I don't know help each other and um i hope like everyone stays as happy as possible i know right now is a tough time just try to keep yourself busy and we'll get through it soon all right bye guys <laughs>